Hi, I'm Nicholas and I study at Kochon Presbyterian Secondary School where I did my O-Levels and received an A1 for O-Level Pure Biology. I would like to take this chance to thank you for watching my videos and I hope you can use this supplementary tool to boost your grades and understand the materials better. Thanks and let's begin. Hi and welcome to my final video which is tips and general pointers and in this video I will just be going through some general um, pointers for the following areas such as studying the content, command terms, MCQs and some essay questions and how to tackle them. So first of all studying the content. Biology in itself is a very content heavy subject and there is no running away from reading and understanding the facts and concepts. Um, factual knowledge is important, such as the enzymes involved in digestion, such as amylase, um, lipase, protease, and so on. As well as in mitosis, we need to know the four stages, such as prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and what happens in each stages. But we also need to know conceptual knowledge, such as the cardiac cycle, and we need to know understand how the pressure um, changes in each atrium and the blood flow from atrium to ventricle, and so on as well as in homeostasis, homeostasis which aims to create um, a constant internal environment by adjusting so on and responding to um, stimuli by negative feedback. For factual knowledge, um, mnemonics or other methods can help with this area, such as for complementary based pairing. One thing that I um, take note of is to remember this trick that curves pair with curves. So C and G will pair together in complementary based pairing and at least A and T together. For example, another one would be the intercostal muscles during breathing. So I use the acronyms RICE and ERIC. To remember this, you, you need to know that you eat RICE. So hence, use the RICE acronym when you're breathing in. And when you breathe in, you relax your internal intercostal muscles and you contract your external intercostal. And the opposite is true for ERIC. So if RICE is breathing in, ERIC has to be breathing out. And during breathing out, you, your external intercostal muscles relax and your internal intercostal muscles contract. Use of analogies or reasoning the concepts can help with understanding the difficult concepts such as that homeostasis needs to bring the body back to normal. So um, we need to know that insulin will reduce the raised blood glucose. And how does it decrease the blood glucose? By converting it to something else, pushing it into cells or being used at a faster rate. So this understanding that insulin reduces blood glucose can be answered by how do I re remove this glucose from the blood and as and as given the reason stated. It also helps to revisit concepts a few times on separate occasions as it helps you internalize and you can understand more and more of it each time you visit it. You don't have to understand 100% of the content the first time you see through it. That would be very difficult. So just understand the big picture first and then each time you revisit it, pick up more and more of the concepts and um, knowledge in the topic and eventually you'll be able to know almost everything about it. Command terms are another important feature that you need to look out for. The command terms give you an idea of what to include in your answer or how to answer questions and it's important to pay close attention to them. Some command terms require greater depth in answers while some may only require a simple description and knowing when to give what helps you in time management as well as better clarity in your answers. So here I have some examples of command terms which you can actually find on the O-level bio syllabus um, document. So compare is a command term that requires both similarities and differences in your answers. So you have to include both of these. For example, compare DNA and RNA. Remember, you need to have similarities and differences. So the similarity could be that both have four bases. And the difference could be that bases in DNA are A, C, G and thymine while bases in RNA are A, C, G, and uracil. Calculate is a command term that requires only a numerical answer as well as working to be shown. So for example, the question is to calculate the heart rate of a person whose cardiac cycle takes 0.8 seconds. The answer cannot just be 72 beats per minute. You need to show how you arrive at this answer. So you have to write the following, heart rate equals 60, which is 60 seconds, divided by 0.8 seconds per cycle, leading to 72 beats per minute and you must remember to include units or else your answer will be invalid. Define is a command term that involves a statement or paraphrase definition of the term and you must remember not to include the term being defined in the definition. For example, define the term digestion. So this is an example answer. Digestion is the process when food is digested into smaller molecules. This is a very poor and incomplete definition because you are using 
the word digested to define digestion and you have not actually defined anything. Describe requires the main point of the concept and in the case of experiments, the observation as well. So for example, describe what happens when a strip of fresh potato is placed in a beaker of pure water for an hour. A good answer would be the strip becomes longer and thicker, which is your observation, due to osmosis, which is the main point of the concept, and the water potential of the water is higher, hence leading to water moving into the potatoes and so on. Explain requires logical reasoning as well as a reference to the theory or a concept learned. So for example, the question is explain why the man found it harder to breathe as he ascended up the mountain. This would be a pretty good answer. The air pressure decreased as he ascended. This is a logical reasoning. And now we have to bring in the reference to the theory. So more effort is needed to expand thoracic volume to cause air to rush into lungs due to the difference in um, atmospheric pressure and intrathoracic pressure. Now we should look at how to tackle MCQ questions. So there are a variety of methods to tackling MCQs. And, and, and from our MCQ practice videos, one way is by reading the question and immediately answering based on options given, or another way is by elimination. And in this method, we look at every option and consider if it is correct and eliminate it if it is not. So firstly, you can start by eliminating options that are very obviously wrong or factually wrong. And this helps in narrowing the choices and aids in avoiding careless mistakes as you consider every option. To tackle ethic questions, it is important to read the questions carefully and play, pay close attention to the command terms as we have just described. Understand what concept the question is testing you on. For example, to describe the role of pancreas in maintaining blood glucose concentration, the important concepts tested in this would be what the pancreas is, as well as homeostasis which is an integral part of maintaining a constant internal environment and is involved in maintaining the blood glucose concentration. So in answering this question, you need to keep in mind that homeostasis should form an integral part of your answer. Spend about one to two minutes thinking about the points and structuring them in a logical fashion. This helps you not only think clearly and helps avoiding missing and forgetting important points, but also helps the marker clearly identify marking points to award marks as oftentimes, having a messy answer will make it very difficult for the marker to understand what you're saying, leading to him being unable to award you the marks you deserve. Lastly, reread your answer to check for any mistakes, such as a missing point or a factual error, which you could easily change. Thank you and I hope you found this video useful.